visitor with us. It's Dr. Foster. Dr. Foster, would you please come up here? Dr. Foster, this is Pam. Hello, nice and to meet you. This is Dwight. Nice to meet you. I have Dr. Foster here so that um, we can diagnose each other with some. Um, Pam, would you please stop that, please? Sorry, I thought I heard a fall. Um, I have a question. All right, yes, Dwight. Um, why is she here? She's here so that we can diagnose each. Pam, stop. I'm sorry, I thought I heard a call. But diagnose well, we are all perfectly fine. No, this, this is, is a great not... office we have. No, see, what you don't realize is you have anxiety. Michael, Dwight. can I call Jim? OCD, queen, stop, <laughs> now, thanks. Michael, all right. Can I, can I call Jim, Michael? For what? Because I need to check on the kids, Mike. Sure. Her kids may be in trouble. Oh my gosh. So I brought Dr. Foster in here today because everybody clearly has something wrong with them. Dwight is always excessively prepared for everything, like half the stuff, I don't even know why he has them. Pam's a little stressed half the time. Um, she has OCD pretty bad. She's always checking up on Jim and the kids and all that. I don't even know why she's here. I don't think there's anything wrong with me. I don't think there's anything not normal about wondering where your kids are. Like, I only call maybe like 25 30 times per hour like it's that's actually like really normal i don't see why anyone thinks that's a problem uh Dwayne, is it okay if i borrow a pen oh yeah sure what do you need is uh got a pen right here or actually if you need blue ink i got or you got, got a pencil you know i just got my toolbox right here you know, <laughs> just, um, whatever you want okay, so uh, oh, 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 but this is my oh, thing oh, <laughs> Well, I, personally, I didn't even know she was coming in, but I recently just got this toolbox. It, it just packs everything, band-aids from, like, life preservers to, you know, a volcano kit. I just like to be very prepared. You never know what's going to happen here. So, uh, I really like it. Um, I noticed ADHD's up there. I don't really know why is that. Uh, we can have a conversation in private about that later. Right. Does anybody else hear that? It's like my favorite band. Hear what? Pam, you hear that? Uh, it's not. I, I guess Michael knows. Hey man, you want to hear something? Do I got some headphones you can borrow Yo, real quick? Dude, what? like, yeah, put these into the... Thunder buttons. We will, we <laughs> will rock you. <laughs> Kick it, we... Um, some symptoms I've seen in the office represent a lot of disorders that are common, like ADHD, stress, OCD, a lot of anxiety within Dwight. Um, they called me in because we've had a lot of problems with mental illness in the office and I was called to diagnose the people and get them help. All right guys, and tomorrow when we come back, we'll have Brianna do one-on-one -on -one interviews with each other. Let's go. Can't wait to see Jim and the kids. After observing you for the past week, I think it's best to diagnose you with antisocial anti personality disorder as well as anxiety. So there's a few different treatment options. How do you feel after hearing this news? Surprise, I feel like I'm you know, totally normal, but I guess um, <clears throat> maybe a little bit, you okay. know, if, if that's what you think. Okay, so for the anxiety, we can give you a prescription for Xanax, and that should be able to calm you down a little bit. Oh, you don't need a prescription. I, I, I know a guy, my cousin Moe's, you know, who hooked me up real good, you know. Um, I suggest you just stick with my prescription. Doctor's okay. order. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> and then for the social, for the antisocial personality disorder, you can come back to me at any time. We can schedule a weekly appointment for talk therapy. Sure. <laughs> you can come to my <laughs> okay, Pam. So after watching you call Jim like twenty something times a day, I've decided you have OCD, and also you're very stressed out like often. It'll be okay. We have different forms of therapy that can help you through this. Would you like to call Jim? Yeah. Okay, so now that you're okay, we have decided that you can do talk therapy to help with your stress and cognitive behavioral therapy to help with your OCD. After those, you should be okay. Okay, Michael, I know this might come as a surprise to you, but I've decided diagnosing you with ADHD is the best. No. Wait, okay. No. Why do you just No scared? way! No! 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 Okay, so for your ADHD, I think we should prescribe Adderall to keep you focused more and less distracted from everything around you. And behavioral therapy will also help you calm down. And you can come to me once a week, meet me in my office, and we can have that therapy session. Thank you. Okay, in my opinion, 
A lot of these disorders from all the employees root from the stressful work environment and all they, they use a lot of defense mechanisms to try and push their feelings away and get rid of their stress. They use regression a lot because everyone here acts like a child, especially Michael, a lot. Um, displacement is also used in the work environment here because they push their stress onto other people, making everybody stressed. You smell like milk dog. What's up dog? Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs>